So we're now looking at setting up your web hosting. You're with Michael J. Roach and this is the second video. Uh, the first video we looked at getting a website name set up, that is your domain name. So we've already done that and now we need to host the website somewhere. For this example, we're going to look at DreamHost. DreamHost are a shared hosting provider and that means that your costs will be decreased because uh, DreamHost host many hundreds of thousands of websites on their servers overseas rather than having a dedicated server so uh, which they also offer as part of their service package for, for a small to medium business it is advisable to just go for shared hosting and then as the business grows you can look at other hosting providers that might offer you some more flexibility um, but but definitely for now we just need to get this website up and running so let's go in and uh, sign up for DreamHost. You can start here by uh, entering your details for a two-week trial. And then after that, hosting costs vary. Uh, they can be around 100 to 150 Australian dollars a year. So um, not very much. And for that, you get anything you want on your website, um, including videos and audio and uh, animations. So that's the, the full package, 100 and 10 US dollars I believe for, for dream host so we can start by signing up for the trial and then once we've got our uh, Details confirmed we've entered in all our details. We'll then look at installing WordPress onto our new website, so let's do that now Okay, so at this point you're saying um, Mike why are we back in crazy domains? We were just looking at dream host and there's a very good reason for that. Because we uh, have two separate companies looking after our website, the crazy domains for the domain name and DreamHost for our web hosting, we need to go into crazy domains and tell them that we want our website to be hosted by DreamHost. How we do that is by looking for the name servers. Okay. Now, when you first go into your domain name in, in, in crazy domains or, or any web domain uh, registrar, then you will have your domain name and a default set of name servers. These need to be updated. So you should delete the default ones there. And then down here, add in the DreamHost name servers. And these are an address that points your website name to the hosting provider. So you can just simply type in the three uh, domain names here and then click add name server and they will be updated just remember to uh, remove any ones that you see in the list when you first log in so that all you see when you update your name servers is the three dream host name servers there and just to reiterate you simply type the three into this box uh, crazy domains take care of the rest of the information all this stuff gets filled in automatically click add name server and we're done. Okay, and that can take up to a few hours just to propagate through the systems, um, but you can go back to Dream Host now and start working on your website. Now that we're back in Dream Host, we've bought our uh, web hosting package and what we want to do is get a blog onto that website. Dream Host has a one-click install system so all the, what that means is that we can simply come down, choose our package, we're choosing WordPress, and then we can click on custom installation. It's very important to click custom installation here um, because it gives you the controls you need to manage your website. Simple installation is a, a restricted installation, which means you don't have that much flexibility in what you do with your website. So, of course, we want to now add WordPress to our, to our website. Uh, you should see your domain name here. So select this and leave all of the rest of the details and then just click uh, install it for me now. And just to make sure, I'm going to tell you not to fill this in this section here for your site. You just want to install it to the website but leave this this area here blank. Okay. Install it for me now. 
and then DreamHost goes off and installs the website to your domain name. And within 10 minutes, you'll get an email from DreamHost with the final instructions to configure your new software. So we can wait for that email and then do the final steps. And after that, you're ready to go in uh, and start setting up your website. Okay, we've now just waited a few minutes for an email to come through from DreamHost, which tells us that they've had success installing WordPress onto our website. So we open up this email and uh, we follow the instructions here. And all we need to look for is the first link, which says create an admin user. Let's go and do that now. And I'll just copy that link across. Okay, right, so now we've got our WordPress installation happening. It tells us that we're going to need some information here. Let's do that now. Advantage Social Media is the name for our website. Try and think of a, a better name than admin, um, such as Mike Admin, and choose a strong password tell that WordPress thinks that's weak, so try and make it a little bit stronger than that. It's very important to get a strong password, um, so by simply by including a few numbers in your password, it will increase the strength to medium. Okay, it's best to go for a strong password. Okay, so let's now scroll down, enter our email here. Uh, and press continue. Okay. And we've got a success message. WordPress has been installed. Uh, and now we can just simply log in with the details we've chosen. So username will be Mike Admin. And the password. Now we've logged into our website and that's all there is to it. We've set up our hosting, we've redirected the domain names and we've installed WordPress, which is our, uh, our software that's going to run our website. It's all up and ready to start building. So in future videos, we'll explore how exactly to do this. But for now, welcome to your brand new Advantage social media website. And how great is this? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.